Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So I've got another foodie video for you today where I'll be sharing what we have eaten over the last week as a family of four. I have five delicious meals to share with you. All of them are ideal if you are calorie counting or following Slimming World. They're all less than 600 calories, less than two sins on Slimming World and ideal to feed the entire family. I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, then hi, my name's Michelle and I do make quite a bit of foodie content. I'll upload my meal plans on my Instagram page and then I have a foodie Instagram page called Eat Well Not Less underscore UK which I put a lot of meal ideas on as well if you want to follow me over on Instagram. As always with my food videos I'll list the ingredients needed for all of the meals that I mentioned in the description box down below so you can have a look in there and basically print off a bit of a shopping list if you want to make anything and if you do make anything that I share today then please do let me know your thoughts in the comments I'm always really interested to hear what you guys think of the meals so yeah let's get into the video sharing what we had for Monday to start off with so I've got my laptop top here with my notes on so I've got the calories for each meal and the sins for each meal so Monday we had a honey and soy salmon dish with rice this was super well, I've had this so many times actually it's super easy to make it literally takes 10 minutes to make so it's ideal for a mid midweek meal it comes in at 517 calories and one and a half sins in a bowl, mix together two garlic cloves and a tablespoon each of ginger, honey, soy sauce and marin. Give it all a really good stir together and then add in the salmon fillets and leave to marinate for a couple of minutes while you put on some rice. Tonight I'm only doing dinner for Nick and I and I find that a small espresso cup is the perfect size for one portion of rice and as always I add double the quantity of water for perfect rice. Put a frying pan on a high heat and spray with a spray oil then add the salmon skin side down and fry for five minutes before turning it. Once the rice has been cooking for around five minutes, add in a handful of peas and then I also like to add some broccoli. So I'm just going to put the broccoli in a colander or a steamer over the top to steam it. The salmon should almost be cooked now. So add in the rest of the sauce and heat that through until it gives the salmon a nice sticky glaze. Serve it with the rice and peas and the broccoli on the side. Next up is a slow cooker meal. Now, if you've watched my videos before, then you'll know I absolutely love my slow cooker. It comes in so handy, especially being a full-time working parent. It's so handy just to throw everything in there at the start of the day, come home from work, and you know dinner is ready. So Tuesday, we actually had a gammon slow cooked, but I slow cooked it in Diet Coke. It's super easy to make. And then we had that with our old school favorite gammon egg and chips. And this came in at 538 calories and is completely sin free if you are following Slimming World. Before cooking the gammon, I like to prepare it by putting it in a saucepan of boiling water for around 10 minutes, draining it and doing that again before putting it into the slow cooker. This helps remove some of the salt. Once I've drained it again, I then add it to the slow cooker with around one and a half litres of Diet Coke to just kind of cover it and then cook it on low for around eight hours. I serve the gammon with homemade wedges which are so easy to make. I sliced some potatoes into wedges, I didn't bother peeling them, parboiled them for around 5 minutes before draining, shaking them well and placing on a baking tray, seasoning with salt and pepper and placing in the oven at 200 degrees for around 25 minutes. About 15 minutes before the wedges were ready, I removed the gammon from the slow cooker and cut away the fat. 
in hindsight I probably should have done this before cooking it but never mind you can either shred it or slice the gammon I decided to actually have it as gammon slices and served it with the wedges baked beans and an egg Wednesday evening I made a lamb tagine. This is a delicious dish. It does take a little bit longer so it does take about an hour but it's all done in one pot and once you've basically thrown all, the, all of the ingredients in then you can just get on with the rest of the evening like getting kids ready or whatever you need to do and can just leave it and go back to it in an hour. Um, so just factor that into the timings if you have in this. Um, calorie wise this comes in at 520 calories and again following Slimming World is completely sin free. These are all the ingredients that you'll need to make the lamb and chickpea tagine. This is something that I'll sometimes just put it all in the slow cooker, but I didn't have time this morning. I've just gotten in from work and Nick has kindly prepped everything for me. So all I've got here is two lamb leg steaks, which is basically just diced. And then spice wise, you'll need one tablespoon each of ground cumin, ground coriander and ground cinnamon. Got some stock here, which is just made up from one chicken stock cube. So there's about 500 ml of stock. A kin of chickpeas in water, which I'll just drain. And then I've got two sliced onions here, which I've just sliced up. A couple of carrots, again, which have been sliced and two garlic cloves. When I say this dish is simple, honestly, I really mean it. You just throw all of those ingredients into the pan. It couldn't be any easier. So literally, I'm just going to put in the lamb, all of the spices in there as well. Throw in the veggies and the garlic. Throw in the drained chickpeas and then cover with the stock. I just completely forgot you also want to add in a can of chopped tomatoes I thought it was missing something and then realized so again just stir that through and then leave it to simmer for around 40 to 45 minutes I've left it for probably about an hour now and the meat is all soft. I just had a bit and it literally completely breaks away in your mouth, just melts, it's delicious. So I'm just going to squeeze through a half a lemon, just the juice. It really is, it gives it a really nice fresh flavour with all of the spices in there and then just season with some salt and pepper as well. Thursday evening was another one pot dish. You can tell I really like one pot dishes and slow cooker meals because yeah, saves on any tidying up and time is of the essence in the evenings. And this was a spring baked risotto. Again, it does take slightly longer, but what I really like about it is that you can just leave it in the oven whilst you get on with doing what you're doing. This one takes about 40 minutes in total. And the calories in this one are actually fairly low. This one comes in at three. This one comes in at 390 calories per serving, and works out at two sins if you are following Slimming World. So these are all the ingredients that you'll need to make the baked risotto. So obviously you'll need arborio rice, which is basically risotto rice. Um, so I've got about 250 grams in here, around a two thirds of a cup of peas, um, one courgette, one vegetable stock cube to make some stock up, one lemon, three garlic cloves, a handful of asparagus tips, I've just got a pack here, a pack of spring onions, some parmesan cheese, so you need around 40 grams of this, and then some soft cheese, so I get the 50% less fat version, and you'll need around three tablespoons of this. I completely forgot, you also need some parma ham or prosciutto. You'll need around four slices of this, so one slice per person. 
lay four slices of the parma han on a foiled baking tray and put it in the oven at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, in an oven proof dish, add most of the spring onions, the garlic and rice and pour over around one litre of the stock. Stir it and cover and then put it in the oven with the parma ham or prosciutto for the remainder of the 10 minutes. After around 10 minutes, remove the prosciutto from the oven and place it to one side. At this point, it should be really nice and crispy. Give the risotto a stir and then add in the courgettes and asparagus. Recover and then pop it back into the oven for around another 20 minutes. About five minutes before the end, add in the peas, again give it a stir and pop it back in for another five minutes. Remove the risotto dish from the oven and then add in the soft cheese and parmesan, stir it all through and then finish with a zest of lemon and some black pepper. Crisp the parma ham on top and serve with a salad on the side. Friday night we often like to have a bit of a fake away. So Friday we had burger and chips. Um, I use the burger mixes that you get from Spice Entice. I have got a code for them, um, Shell20, which I'll link down below if you want to get any money off them, just use that link below. Um, yeah, burger and chips with Slimming World chips that you just make in the oven from potatoes. So simple to make. Um, this one probably takes around 25 minutes in total um, with doing the, the chips as well. Slightly higher in calories. This one comes in at 620 calories um, and it is thin free if you use your Healthy Extra B and one of your Healthy Extra A's for the cheese and the roll um, and then just whatever sauce you have. So I think I had like extra light mayo. Um, so it worked out to just over a sin per serving for the burger and chips. It's not, yeah, burger and chips. I made the chips the exact same way as I did before. So parboiling for five minutes, then in the oven for about 25 minutes. But when seasoning, I did also add in some smoked paprika this time. So I'm now going to make the burgers. So to make the burgers, I've just got lean steak mints. This is the 5% fat steak mint. I've got a chopped onion, some chopped garlic, and then I'm going to add some seasoning. So I, so I have this gourmet burger seasoning. This is from Spice and Tice. I spoke about them loads of times on my channel before. I love their recipes. Uh, they just come with a little recipe card like this, and then the perfect pouch of all of these spices that you need. So this is the burger spices, so you just need to add that to your burger mix. If you use the code SHELL20, it will also give you 20% off any of their kits. So in a bowl, I'm just going to add a finely diced onion, two finely diced courgettes, not courgettes, garlic. <laughs> the mince. Pour in the spice mix. Mix the seasoning, the mince and the onion mixture all together and then shape it into burgers. I actually have a burger presser I got from Aldi and it makes perfectly shaped burgers. You don't obviously need to have that, you can just shape them with your hands into burger shapes. Then place into a hot pan just with a bit of spray oil in there and fry on each side for around 4 minutes. Once almost ready, put a slice of low-fat cheese onto each burger, load it in the bun with salad, the sauce, and then serve it with the wedges and some corn on the side. So they are the five meals that I wanted to share with you. I really hope this video has been useful because I know it can be quite easy to fall into a rut when you are thinking about what to have for dinner each week. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on my channel again soon. Bye.